from the SiliconANGLE Media office in Boston, Massachusetts. It's the Cube. Now, here's your host, Stu Miniman. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and welcome to a Cube Conversation here in our Boston area studio. Happy to welcome back to the program William Toll, who is the head of product marketing at Acronis, fresh off of the Acronis Global Cyber Summit down in Miami. Thanks so much for joining us, William. Great, thanks Stu, thanks for having me. All right, uh, so uh, you, you had you, you, your customers, your partners, you had the speakers, uh, Miami Beach uh, here, you know, lovely view yeah. down there. Um, it's a little chillier up here in the, in the, in the Boston area, but um, you know, why don't you bring us as to you know, some of the, the energy and announcements that, that you had at the show uh, for those that might not have caught it. Sure, I, I have to say it was an amazing event. Um, the feedback that we've gotten from our partners, from our customers, from uh, everyone that attended was fantastic. For a company like Acronis, um, we've been in business for 17 years, providing data protection, cyber protection solutions. Um, we really hit the ball out of the park. Um, for our first customer event, the ecosystem really came together and it was a couple days of learning and understanding uh, the future of cyber protection. Yeah, so William, while, while the, the term cyber is on everyone's lip these days, yeah. you, you can't turn on the news without hearing about the latest security threat and everyone's concerned about this. Um, maybe just give, give us a Cronus' definition of what cyber protection is. Sure, cyber protection is the combination of data protection and cyber security. We believe that uh, the world is becoming more digital and data is becoming more valuable and it's essential that uh, cyber protection solutions protect that data, protect it from being lost, protect that data from being stolen, and protect that data from being manipulated. When you look at traditional uh, data protection solutions that really don't incorporate any kind of security solutions, you're really uh, putting that data at risk. and. Uh, the future is cyber protection. Okay, so when I talk to data protection companies, all of them are talking about ransomware uh, as, as one of the pieces. You know, actually, here ransomware heard. Uh, you know, everyone has a solution that helps that piece sure. of it. Uh, maybe uh, you know, help understand you know where Acronis fits because cybersecurity is a broad uh, piece. There is no silver bullet uh, to solve security. We know it is more of a uh, practice, and everyone needs mm -hmm. to be involved with it. So, uh, what announcements were made at the show and and you know, help us understand where Acronis fits in the overall uh, security landscape. Sure, so the biggest announcement at the show was the fact that our Acronis Cyber Cloud solution has been expanded to include Acronis Cyber Protect. And this is a suite of uh, cybersecurity solutions that essentially democratizes enterprise grade security for the SMB and beyond, right? If we think about uh, vulnerability assessments and patch management and uh, other solutions that really are inaccessible to the SMB, our managed service provider partners uh, and resellers are now able to take what was once isolated um, point solutions and bring that together and protect that data where the data lives. Right? Well, that, that's great. You know, my background is more in the enterprise, and we've talked about things that the enterprise can do now that you know before you needed to be a nation state. Mm -hmm. um, but when you talk about bringing these solutions down to the, the SMB, right. is this the enabler of cloud? Uh, you know, help us understand a little bit more. Uh, you know, what why it's so critically important for it's SMB. A, it's a very different world, right? Um, Acronis was the first data protection solution to integrate uh, ransomware protection. Acronis was also the first uh, uh, solution provider that brought blockchain-based uh, security solutions that authenticates files. So um, our uh, customers are able to demonstrate that that file is authentic and has not been manipulated. That's not something that um, is front and center with the Acronis solutions, but it demonstrates our desire to really protect that data from loss, theft, and manipulation. Okay, uh, definitely, you know, you were talking earlier about data. We know data is one of the most important resources uh, for, for companies today, uh, and security now is a board level discussion. Right. Um, so, you know, Acronis is, is not, you know, new to the industry. Uh, tell us why kind of now is so important in Acronis' history. 
Sure. Um, just last year, for example, uh, we blocked over 400,000 ransomware attempts across the millions and millions of devices that we're protecting. And uh, when you think about data, data lives in multiple locations now. And it's getting harder and harder for organiza organizations to protect that data. And uh, Acrona specializes in protecting data at the edge. So this is outside of the corporate data center where it's more and more uh, important that that data is protected and has the same policies uh, and requirements met uh, for protecting that data as the systems inside the corporate data center. All right, so William, you had a bunch of big announcements at the show. Uh, give our audience a little bit of a look forward. What should we be expecting to, to see from Acronis and your partners, partners uh, as we head towards 2020? Sure, so another one of the big announcements me, we made was Acronis Cyber Platform. And that's the opening of our APIs and our SDKs. So now uh, Acronis is opening the possibility for developers and ISVs and our service provider partners to integrate additional solutions to have data protection, cyber uh, protection. So an example would be uh, any of the SaaS applications or uh, ISVs that want to embed native cyber protection right into their solution. Another example would be a service provider that wants to automate more and more of their cyber protection operations solutions. Now uh, developers can come and visit developer.acronis.com, they can register on the Acronis Developer Network, and then they can get busy with integrating additional data sources for cyber protection, and even add new data destinations for that storage, uh, data destinations for the storage of cyber protection. Yeah, so important. I'm, I'm just off of one of the large public cloud uh, sure. conferences there, and uh, in the security space, that was one of the discussions, is how do I have APIs? How do I share as the different yeah. ISVs right. data between them so that security can, will be more than just a bunch of point pieces that yep. don't work together, but have the industry as a whole uh, trying to protect companies and their it data. It needs to be integrated, and it needs to be native, and that's what we're enabling with the Acronis Cyber Platform. All right, William, uh, give you the final word uh, for Acronis and uh, how people should be thinking about. Sure, cyber protection is the, the future. Um, a recent report by one of the big uh, industry analyst firms demonstrated the power of bringing the backup team with the cybersecurity team, traditionally silos, together, because at the end of the day, everyone's doing the same thing and that's protecting the data. All right, well, William Tall, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. we, we know how critically important data is and everything around pr protecting that and cybersecurity, of course, ha helping to pull everything together. Great. As always, uh, I'm Stu Miniman, and thank you for watching theCUBE.